Right everyone, I'm um, going to do a taste test of Jim's Ale, the Pedigree Ale. Um, went out and bought a bottle of it. From the bottle it says 4.5 Amber Ale. <laughs> so it's bottled conditioned but I can't remember Pedigree being bottled conditioned. Give it a crack. Not much of a hiss. So we're going to put this in the London Pride grass with the when in London on the back. Poor aggressive to try and get a bit of a head. You know what? There is. A bottled yeast at the bottom of that, so well, it's just bottling yeast or actual yeast that's using the pedigree. We'll put a cap on it and we'll see what we can find. Um, right, there's the colour, a few bubbles coming off it. It's a bit of a nucleated glass in London Pride, trying to keep the head, little head sticking around. Decent looking beer, aroma. I'm not getting too much. No, nope, no aroma. I think it's supposed to be Bubbles East Kent's in it. Where it'll say on here. No. No, nope, don't say. But we've all gone to the gym recipe, haven't we? So this is the commercial version. It's pedigree in it. Um, slightly malty. Very tiny hop aroma taste. I won't say it was dry. <sighs> then again, it's touching. Um, I've much I, when when the news happened. I was going Blackpool that weekend, so I managed to get a pint on cask up there. It's on cask, it's better than the bottle. Um, but we'll see, so that's the commercial. So ours will be coming in London Pride glass with nothing on the back. So here we go. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm pouring a pint out. Right, this is Jim's beer, um, coming out the keg, I brewed it on the 6th of March, it's now, sure it's the 21st, 22nd of March, sorry. Um, as you can see, there's not much difference in the colour. <coughs> sorry about that. There's the bottled version. In the London one. There's mine. Or Jim's should be sir. Take my thumb out of the way. You can see quite the same. Same colour. Um Jim's brewed a recipe that I had or what I had worked to. There's 2.8 kilos of pale malt, 60 grams of chocolate, 20 grams of East Kent Goldings. 4% and 20 grams of fuggles at 4% at 90 minutes. Um, 17 grams of East Kent Goldings at 4% of 4 at 15. One world flock, yeast nutrient. 
and 360 grams of white sugar, 80 grams of light brown sugar, um, and then 14 gram East Kent Goldings, 20 minute whirlpool. Um, I used the Nottingham yeast on it. First runnings I got was 10.53. So pre-boil was 10.32, post-boil 10.40 and it finished at 1.006 which is rather dry and if that Nottingham yeast is anything it is, it, it does tear through your work. Um, it is dry, it's always more-ish, it's much better. See, the bottle version, it's it's just malt it, malt it, That's, there's a big malt backbone and I know that they put, this one's got these cake golden fools in, I suppose that has, but it's not, with it being a commercial brewer, they can't put what we can put in, so It's just like a multi. It's bottles are not very good. The cask, it's better on cask. It's more true to that. This, um, as you can see, still carved. I know it's got the bubbly glass there, but as you can see, stick head sticking around. Um, I made a mistake because that's the recipe that I had, and like I said. I didn't have the 420 grams of white sugar, 440, excuse me, sorry. So we ended up putting 360 grams of white sugar, which is all we had in, and 80 grams of light brown. So maybe that's why it's a tad darker, and it's only a gnats. Um, um, but finishing at 0, 006, it's fine. Um, the mistake I made that should have been going in at five minutes with the yeast nutrient and the sugar and for some reason I put it in at 15 so I don't know if that did anything to it um, not so yeast grew into start so pitch 7th of March so I used the starter, I pitched some Nottingham yeast in the starter. But when all said and done, it's come out a cracking pint. And uh, I'm sure Jim up there will be dead chuffed that we're all brewing his beer, so. See, there's even decent lacing in there. Now all that's gone into that is pale malt and chocolate malt. Now, those of you that know, do it smash off, your head retention, retention because you only use your one malt. It's a struggle now. There's only pale malt and chocolate malt in that, and sugar. So, Jim, you're on to the winner, mate. Take it easy, everyone. Those of you that have brewed on the Memorial Day and have brewed Jim's beer, in for the treat. Um, might see you again soon. Um, 100th home brew Wednesday probably coming up. Not the 100th video, like I said. A few people like Nate over, he's just done 200 home brew Wednesdays. He said the, the same thing. He's on 200 home brew Wednesdays, but you put videos up like this with tastings or things, and you, you don't even count them, do you? Um, I know at the minute, if you look on my page, I think there's only about 10 videos. I don't know, I, a lot have been taken down because he used music in. Um, but I don't want to keep bashing them up. Um, if I put, if I go on computer now and put 10 up, 
that's all you all you people that subscribe to me your pages will be covered in me and you probably go and get rid of it so i might just put a couple up a week um i'm currently hooked on Harry, Harry brew 69 is the logs pigging out you it's brill, it's better than watching Coronation Street or something in it because you're watching and there's always something, he's at something and he's working away and you've got a fair play to the fella. Don't stop. Um, mate, just one other pint, sit down, do a bit, that's it. He's always on go, so fair play, Harry. Um, I'm off. I better go and sort this out. Um, Gonna end up having to tidy up in here. It's just a total mess. Thinking of stripping everything back. Flags, lights. We'll see. We'll, we'll probably talk about that in under Thornbury Wednesday, where there'll be a competition. Never thought about that. Um, don't know what you win. Twenty-five kilo bag of grain. Any good? Yeah, well, we'll see. So, I'm off. Ta-da.